it's funny how that works. Um, I have my setups that I've been doing, my dual setup. Uh, and, uh, one of the cameras wouldn't sync, so I couldn't do two videos at the same time on this one subject. So what I'm trying to say now is the fact that you link somebody up to an image. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say what I want to say or that what I did say on the other video about the same situation. Um, it's like this. Here in California, when the election went off uh, before Arnold Schwarzenegger was the governor, they showed Arnold Schwarzenegger's movies all over TV. That's something that none of the other candidates had. Now, I'm talking about a monkey on a t-shirt. Now, say for instance, Curious George. What if the people who own the rights to Curious George's image say something? You know, hey, you know, that's not right. It's not the fact that you have a monkey and it says Obama 08 and the monkey and the banana. What offends me is the fact that throughout the history, our history as Americans, white people have called us baboons, monkeys. When I was younger, they used to say Martin Luther Coon and shit like that. This is just the old boys mad. The good old boys are mad. You can hear in his voice, you better get off my property right about now. Come on, man. If you have a half a lick of sense, a half a lick of sense, you understand this. Never link anybody to a symbol. Because right now, I hate to have to say this, this ain't going to do nothing but help Obama. Why? There's a lot of young people who vote. A lot of people think that is funny, and on their way in to vote, they think, <laughs> curious, George, <laughs> click, Obama. You think I'm joking, and you think this is funny. This is not funny. What I'm saying is this. Curious George is on thousands of t-shirts, not the Obama t-shirts. Now, say, for instance, everybody starts selling Obama t-shirts with Curious George on them. Right before the election, the Curious George movie will be shown on TV. Three or four different networks. People are controlled by symbolic impressions. You link somebody to something, and if the image is shown just enough times, that's what people will remember. They won't remember Curious George. They will remember Obama. So when people play mind games and mind tricks, think about the game that's being played. You're linking somebody to a symbol because of a resemblance, allegedly. Personally, I think the guy who does those Washington Mutual commercials, you know, the black guy, Wamu, that motherfucker look like here is George. Let's get back to the subject. Think about it. An image, a symbol, the human memory. And what this man did is stupid. Is it racist? Yeah, because black people have been called monkeys forever. And this guy happens to be black running for president. Somebody once told me that I should never vote for John McCain. And I'm going to tell you why this man told me, and this was a white man, a military man, told me not to vote for John McCain. Now, if you remember John McCain went up against Baby Bush and lost, that was when I was going to vote for John McCain. That's when I thought he was the best man for the job. But he didn't get the nomination. And this is why. This is why. He didn't get the nomination because he was a POW. When you are a prisoner of war, there are certain things they do to you. They try to get you to conform. They try to get you to tell secrets. They brainwash you. 
And this older man told me he would not vote for John McCain because of that. He don't know if John McCain was reprogrammed or brainwashed. And remember what I said about linking yourself to an image, a symbol. John McCain's new campaign shows him in that bed as a POW. And his captors are interviewing. The people who have held him captive are interviewing. And he said exactly what they told him to say. So when you link a person to an image, what image are you going to remember? The man bowing to the will of his captors? Or somebody symbolized to look like a cartoon character? A fun, whimsical, curious child? A monkey? I hate to have to say it, but if a monkey can fly a ship out to outer space, I have never done that. If a monkey can go through all these tests so we can have hair gel, toothpaste, I have never done that. And if it's so easy that a monkey can do it, why not let a monkey run the government? Why not let a monkey have the country to control? Because if it's so easy for a monkey to fly out in space, so easy for a monkey to be tested on, maybe it's time for a monkey to run this zoo. I don't know. But when you link somebody to a symbol, that's all people remember. So go ahead, buy your Obama Curious George shirts. And the night before the election, make sure everybody you know is watching that movie, Curious George. And they'll be embedded in the back of their mind. So when they go in there, they start, <laughs> who, who Curious George? <laughs> Obama. So, when that guy says, get off my property, just remember what he's doing. Remember what he's doing. He's either all calling us all monkeys or saying it's so easy that a monkey can do it. Have a nice day, America. And you've been tuned.